The success recorded by Nigeria over process and industrial development P&ID company at the Court of Arbitration in the United Kingdom has been described as cherry and a welcome development. The federal government had lost the case in 2017 over alleged breach of a gas contract which started in 2003 and was asked to pay a damage sum of $6.6 .6 billion to P&ID company. Correspondent Gabriel Odia takes a look at the implication of the judgment if it was the other way around. While some lawyers described the judgment as a big win for Nigeria, considering the present economic realities of high debt burden, low revenue and surging inflation, the stress that the country would not have been able to survive as the contract's ab initio was fraught with corruption and those behind it must be brought to book. It would have had a very strong effect, uh, economic effect on the country uh, at large and the premise upon which Nigeria did that uh, is hinged on issues of uh, fraud, is hinged on issues of uh, inducement, hinged on issues of retention of valuable documents. The toga of, co of corruption that is being worn uh, on Nigeria or that is being placed on Nigeria has also been removed. And I think beyond just this reaction about the economic benefit of this judgment on the nation, it is time for us to begin to investigate the culprits, the people behind this act. Because for me, it is the worst sin you can ever commit against your country to betray your nation at the expense of the economic survival of its citizen. They say the judgment has further opened a new chapter in commercial and property law. They also called on the federal government to strengthen all the various institutions to be able to carry out their responsibilities in view of all contracts entered under the federal government, which they say must pass through due process. And I think uh, the Nigerian judicial system, the Nigerian legal community, and the Nigerian arbitration community uh, we learn from this to say, no, going forward, uh, if we are to engage in this kind of contract, we will pay attention to detail, details in terms of uh, ethical issues involved in the contractual relationship, uh, of standard operating procedures involved, rules of engagement involved, rules of confidentialities involved, and uh, all of that. Our nationalism or patriotism on the part of Nigerians is on a huge decline. And uh, we really need to work in that direction. We need to strengthen our institutions in such a way that this kind of act will not repeat itself again. Because as mean they succeeded, some of the beneficiaries, so some of the Nigerians who were part of this arrangement had their own share from that award that was awarded. So such persons should be punished so that it will serve as deterrents to other persons who may be tempted to tour this line of action in future. The lawyers equally expressed dissatisfaction with those officials who brought this untold act and called on the government to fish them out and prosecute them.